Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. The 2024 season has begun with triumphs for the new crop of tennis players set to dominate the tennis circuit. If last year it was Carlos Alcaraz who managed to bypass Novak Djokovic's total by defeating him in the Wimbledon final, last January it was Janik Sinner who broke the Serbs' enormous winning streak at the Australian Open. Despite everything, the numbers speak for themselves, and it is clear that Noel continues to be the great dominator of the circuit and generates the most opinions and headlines. The last comment on him was Andy Roddick, who didn't skimp on praise for the number one, albeit in his own unique way. I feel like Novak Djokovic is the guy who broke up the Beatles, he's like the Yoko Ono of tennis. She's the one we didn't want, we didn't need. We had the rivalry, we had the left-handed and the right-handed, said the former American tennis player in his podcast with Andy Roddick. We had contrasting styles. Then suddenly this cyborg robot appears, but also someone who plays with a lot of emotion who comes in and says I'm complete. You can't get through me, you can't get around me, I'm going to take hits from these guys. It was weird. It was almost as if the kind of mainstream fan who isn't focused on tennis was a little angry with him for that, he added. Roddick didn't shy away from the debate about who the best tennis player in history is. What makes this whole GOAT debate so strange is the fact that we never reach a definitive solution. The same thing happens in basketball with Lebron and Jordan. There are always objections to numbers, some say. But the math doesn't care about fans' feelings or a player's vaccination status, said the Nebraskan, who believes the record speaks for itself. If you line up the resumes of the big three and choose one other than Djokovic's, you are crazy. It's very simple. Then you can argue that you like one or the other more, but to believe that Novak is not the GOAT based on the numbers is to be ignorant, she finalized. Thank you very much for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.